everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Signage Mod 9 Ice Cream Sandwich uh, Wi-Fi Preview ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi only. This ROM is actually, from what I hear, very awesome. I haven't tried it yet, so looking forward to the only thing that doesn't work is camera. So definitely a ROM you're going to want to try if you want to get a ice cream sandwich experience going on your ROM. But anyways, what you're going to need to do is first make sure you are rooted, of course, and have Clockwork Mod installed on your device. Click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this website. I do want to give a big shout out and thanks to uh, Seraphim Serapis. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, I am very sorry. <laughs> but thanks to him. Also, a big thanks to uh, Pursuit and the Signage Mod team. As you can see, per shoot and sign engine. So big thanks to them as well for this. But CM9 Ice Cream Sandwich 10.1 Wi-Fi Preview. Um, it isn't official, but it definitely is a build you're gonna wanna check out considering pretty much everything works but camera. Anyways, what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down. You're gonna need to download two zip files. The two are right here, the GApps 404 as well as the uh, 2812 build or the latest build, whatever the latest build is whenever you watch this video. But anyways, uh, this would be the ROM right here, and this would be the G apps, which would be Google apps such as Gmail, Market, etc. all the great Google apps that will uh, be inside there when you install it. But anyways, once you have those two zips downloaded, they will look like this, I believe, these two right here. You got the Google apps and the, the ROM itself. Once you have those downloaded, transfer them over to your tablet. So connect your tablet to your PC, transfer the zip files over to the the tablet itself and then you are ready to go. So go ahead and go back to your tab and we're gonna to need to power it on off because we're gonna to need to get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and power it on down. All right, now that it is powered off, we're gonna to need to go into our custom recovery. To do so, press and hold volume down, the left arrow and then power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them until the Samsung screen pops up and then let go of the power button once it pops up, but keep volume down held. So let go of the power button, keep volume down held, then press volume down once more and press volume up to select uh, recovery mode. So it should reboot you into your custom recovery, which in my case is Clockwork Mod 5.0.2 Point seven, as you can see. So navigating, volume keys, power button to select, and clockwork mod. But anyways, to install this ROM, first I'm going to recommend doing an Android backup. So go to Backups and Restore and select Backup. So that is the first thing I do recommend. If you do want to back up any of your apps, any of your app data, make sure to use Titanium Backup and back up all your apps, etc. because this will wipe all of your data. Anyways, once you have your Android backup, have everything else backed up, go to Wipe Data Factory Reset, select it, and then hit Yes, delete all user data. So it's going to go ahead and run through and delete everything, as I said. So make sure you have everything you need backed up. Data wipe complete once it's done. Go ahead and just go down to Wipe Cache Partition, select it, and hit Yes, Wipe Cache. So wipe your cache as well. And then go ahead and go to the advanced menu, select that and hit wipe Dalvik cache, and then hit yes. And once that's done, you're ready to go. Once you have your uh, your data cache, Dalvik cache wiped, hit go back. And then go ahead and go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then navigate to that P4 Wi-Fi zip or whatever the ROM file itself is named, that P4 Wi-Fi zip. Select it and then hit yes, install. So go ahead and install the ROM first and let it install. It will take a little while, so be patient with the install process and I will be back once it's done. All right, and install from SD card complete. The ROM is done installing and we're not done yet. Go back to choose zip from SD card, so select that again and then navigate to the G apps. So select your G apps 404.zip select it and then go ahead and hit yes install so go ahead and install your google apps as well right after the rom install it won't take as long as the rom itself uh, so keep that in mind it shouldn't take much longer than the rom all right and my g apps are done installing as you can see so now all you have to do is hit go back and then select Reboot system now. So go ahead and just reboot your tablet, and once rebooted, you'll be running the CM9 
Ice Cream Sandwich Wi-Fi Preview ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi only. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but I'm gonna be doing a separate review video of this ROM, so definitely gonna wanna check that out. As you can see, stock Ice Cream Sandwich boot animation, very cool there. Uh, but anyways, it will take a little while to boot up the first time, since it's a first ROM install, so be patient with the boot up time. But anyways, that's it, so be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and check out my review video.